is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I'm Deja. Hello! <coughs> I haven't been post posting. <laughs> Posting because I've been really sick. Um, me and Ox had COVID the past like week and a half. It's just been kind of crazy. Like I was quarantined in my room by myself for five days until he tested and turns out he was positive too. Um, so now we've just been quarantined together, trying to get better. I feel a lot better now. The only thing wrong with me is like my head's been hurting for like five days. Um, but yeah, I feel a lot better. The first two days though, your girl was. <laughs> start rambling and get straight into the story so boom here we go hopefully I'm clear too because um, your girl needs glasses and I can't even see my viewfinder and y'all like this close honestly let's get into it it's a beautiful day I'm in the neighborhood of South Central LA that's where I was born and raised for y'all's you who do not know so me and my two friends we're gonna name my two friends um, Mia and the other one Steph okay Steph is the girl um, we go way back we met each other in high school um, literally that was like my B okay not speaking to my best friend this is not about Mona y'all know my best friend we're gonna name this girl Steph so Steph's black I think I should put that in there because the sh that she was doing and the sh that she was on this day you would think she very Caucasian, but she's not like this is a black girl What's what I did in the other one? I forgot already. Mia, Maya, Mia. We're gonna name her Mia. Mia Mix. She's not black though, okay? So listen. Steph lives in a different state, but she flew out here. So we're all sitting in my room. Um, Steph's telling us like one of her friends from the state that she lives in is coming down to LA and she's pretty much hyping him up to us. Like, oh, he got this, this, and that. Like, Steph was really about niggas with money. Like, that was her thing, okay? Like, her favorite saying was like, she would rather cry in a Bentley than a Honda or some shit. Like, I don't know. Yeah, she was one of those. Steph was very much so about like materialistic things in men and stuff like that. So she was telling us, oh, he got this and that. And I remember specifically, she was telling us about he drive a McLaren truck. And I'm like, girl, First of all, I don't even know cars. Second of all, I don't give a damn. Third of all, when this man pulled up in this McLaren, I was like, first, like, how is this, is this an expensive car? Cause like, it looked regular and it was very much so rented because um, we was driving in a fishbowl in South Central and that's something you should not do. I was irritated. <laughs> she was telling us that this dude, we gonna call this dude Mike. I don't even know why. Uh, no, we're gonna call him, we gonna call him uncle because he was very much so old as hell and could have been somebody uncle. And she was telling us like how uncle was like very much so rich and he had this, this and that and um, money ain't a problem, he got a McLaren, and all this other sh okay? So it was like, oh, he gonna pull up, he wanna take us all out to dinner and take us shopping. Me and Mia was like, I guess, bro, like we're not doing nothing else. And I'm pretty much sure that this is something she always used to fucking do. She sent the Uncle Man's over me and Mia's Instagram and stuff like that, right? I have no idea what they talked about, if they even talked about us, but let's just get further on the story because y'all gonna see what went on here but when he pulled up to my house y'all it looked very much so like a regular ass suv like i was confused the little man got out the car right he was very much so little he was shorter than me i'm only five seven so he was good like five five he get out the car y'all when, when we're walking up to the car like out of my house he gets out the car opens the door for us which was really like a gentleman of him um but he stared dead into my soul like this man was like trying to capture my whole essence okay i'm like bro first of all man you're not cute to me because it's somebody for somebody but he wasn't the one for me so steph was like oh i'm gonna drive i'm gonna drive i'm like girl I guess like why you can't just let him drive she was very much so hyped to be driving the McLaren and she like posted it all over her Instagram and shit like this it was like really crazy but that's besides the point I got nothing to do with me he decides he want to sit in the back seat but he didn't want me to get in the middle he wanted me to get in the middle so we're in this in the back seat he tried trying to talk in my ear talk nice put on some game that he did not have and I'm like mm, you're not my type <laughs> you know so I'm just trying to be nice. And he's talking about LA, asking me questions. This is his first time in LA. And he like, ooh, I thought y'all was trying to set me up because you stay in the hood. And I'm like, mm, mm. Steph really don't know how to drive. So she all dipping and dodging, hitting streets and stuff. But besides the point, like just having to redo this whole day in my head is like already stressing me out. We're there sitting at dinner, right? We pull up to this place in Hollywood. It was actually really nice. Um, He paid for everything. Like I said, the Uncle Man's. He paid for everything. We all ate, blah, blah, blah. 
Um, we're sitting there having a couple drinks at dinner already. And then Steph's like, blah, 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 let's go. He has a suite at the Ritz Carlton, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, girl, she was just really all about like, oh, he got money, he got a bag. Like, we gotta get him, he got a bag. And I'm like, I really don't care. <laughs> I have my own bag. <laughs> so the whole time he's just telling me how like beautiful I am. He's never seen nobody like me. They was from the South. Uh, Cause Steph was like, I've been trying to get her to come to so-and-so, but she don't want to go. She think it's country. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, and he was like, man, I'm telling you, if you come to the South, them niggas not gonna know how to act. We ain't never seen nobody like you down there. Like, they gonna be all over you. If you come, like, just know you'll have a good time. And then he throw in the fact like, oh, he's somebody like head honcho in the South. And I'm looking at his little ass like, you ain't gotta lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. You ain't somebody. And he was just telling me like, he got people who hit licks for him. Like he big homie or whatever, right? I guess. <laughs> I guess. So after dinner and stuff, we hit a liquor store to get some um, liquor, obviously. And then we go back to the penthouse. Y'all, when we pull up to this penthouse, it's a regular ass hotel at the Marriott. Ain't that the Marriott next to the Ritz Carlton? It's like two hotels in one. Mm, it's just a regular ass hotel. I mean, it was a nice hotel. Regular. I thought it was a penthouse. It's not giving penthouse. Sorry, like, I should have known. Steph is it's just always something like this with Steph and niggas. I I already kind of had it in my head that this wasn't gonna be how she was saying it was gonna be. She put like high expectations on stuff, and I just be sitting here like, girl, you giving 10 when this, this is a two. So we're in the room, we all start getting lit or whatever. Me and Mia, like y'all even forgot about her because me too, this whole night. Me and Mia in there getting lit, like we getting some drinks, blah blah blah. We finished the bottle, then they're like, oh, let's go get more. I think his friend drove because his friend wasn't really that lit. So his friend drove, we got another bottle or whatever. Um, we're in the back seat and stuff just doing the most y'all like she got a nice ass body like let's just throw that out there she has a nice body homegrown organic but like it's like damn it's all doing the most outside of this liquor store i know we in downtown la like ain't really nothing gonna pop off down there but like i'm aware of my surroundings when i'm in la like when i'm outside i don't play about it. that so i'm like bro come on like y'all real loud in this parking lot in this damn fishbowl we in a mclaren i guess and she just all popping ass like in the parking lot so her and me are lit and i'm sitting there like you know i'm not trying to be the mother of the group but i'm like mm, okay like can we go back to the room uh, and then she was like, oh, we can, she told me and me like, oh, we can spend a night here if we want to. Girl, it's five of us in one bed. Who's spending the night here? I was like, no, I'm gonna go home. Like I live 20 minutes from downtown, I'm going home. So I'm like, ah, 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 ah. we're walking up to the room. Mia disappears. Is that the girl name? I don't even know. She, the girl disappeared. Turns out she got picked up by her boyfriend. So they all out in about wherever, right? So it's just me and Steph. Me and Steph walk up to the room. This girl is drunk. When I tell you she is drunk, drunk, she is drunk. And I'm like, bitch, wake up. Oh, and then the dude's friend left too. So now it's just us three. It's uncle, me, and Steph, okay? Steph lay down on the bed. She's knocked, like knocked, but then, she not knock at the same time because we have music playing and like a song will come on, like a hype ass song, and she'll be like sleep twerking in the bed. Like, and I'm like, bitch, are you drunk or are you just pretending? But then it started getting really weird and I started getting very uncomfortable because this man is now all his attention, which all of his attention all day has been on me, trying to make my attention be on him, but you're not my type. So I'm like, my, I don't want my attention to be on you, you know? Now, I'm forced to talk to this man because I don't want to be rude. I'm lit and when I get a little lit, I get a little friendly. Like I'll talk to any and everybody about anything, okay? So he's telling me all this stuff. He turns out to be a really cool dude. Um, and he's very like spiritual and I'm like that too. So we was connected on that, not even connected. We was having a good conversation on that level, okay? So he's telling me like, oh, what are you? We're talking about our star signs and stuff like that. And then he starts getting into like, I can take care of you, this, this, and this. This man had two Louis duffel bags in his room. They was really nice. I peeped it because me and Mia door. <laughs> I had peeped the duffel bags because they was the same one that I wanted to get when me and Mia went to the mall like two days before this whole night. So I peeped over and I was like, oh, like that's really nice. And he was like, oh, you want one? And I'm like, of yours? Sure, if you're gonna give it to me. Yeah, let me take it. Great condition. I'm like, sure. And he was like, nah, nah, nah. I can buy you one tomorrow. Like, I'll take you shopping. I'm gonna take care of you. Like, I got you. And I'm like, boy, leave me alone. You look like somebody's grandfather, okay? Like, I don't want that. 
Like, it sounds nice, but like, what's the catch? Because I know you're not gonna do this for free. Like, <laughs> what's the catch? What do you need out of me? Like, if you're just being nice and wanna spend a bag, because I'm cute, we can do that. But like, it wasn't giving that, okay? <laughs> I'm about to get into the part where I start getting a little uncomfortable and like, these bitches trying to set me up, okay? I'm sitting there with this man and he keeps trying to like put himself on me. Like he a little lit too. I'm lit too, y'all. And it's scaring me because how lit Steph is. Like we all was pretty lit, but like she's like done for, right? I'm sitting there trying to stay focused and be coherent and not just be like, oh, because that's what I felt like. Like if I was at home in my own comfort, I would be done for how I was feeling and he's just like all on me keep trying to touch all over me and I'm like <laughs> no thank you like pulling away but he's smaller than me but at the end of the day they're like this still is a man and I am a female and I was getting very uncomfortable and very scared because like I don't know what's gonna happen and she can't help me oh and she bigger than both of us right so I'm like oh Damn, this man just keeps like getting in my face. And I'm sitting here texting um this one dude. Oh, oh, that's a different story for a different day. I'm gonna tell y'all about him. I'm gonna tell y'all about him. It was this man I met from Tinder. So I'll tell you the Tinder story. So I'm sitting here texting this dude and I'm telling him like, bro, I am so drunk and like this man is trying to feel all over me like da da da. And he's texting back like just, you know, just trying to text me. And I knew how lit I was because the next morning I was reading over our conversation and I wasn't even speaking English. Like, thanks him though. He was keeping me like alive, like coherent and focused. Yeah, so this man starts touching all over me, starts kissing me in my mouth, y'all. And I just felt like I had no other like choice but to just kiss this man back because how like aggressive he was being and it was scary me like I kept like no <laughs> uh, like and then I kept trying to have the conversation going so he wouldn't do nothing and then he started telling me like oh I thought you was down like that's so crazy like she made it seem a different type of way and I'm like what are you talking about and he was talking about Steph like oh she made it seem a different type of way and I'm sitting here like what and he was like oh I thought you was down I thought I was I was gonna be able to take care of you and then he walks over and open one of his duffel bag and this man has a duffel bag like one of them is just full of shoes the other one is just money like the whole bag is just full of money and he's like what you want like I want to take care of you you want you want some money okay? but he's saying all of this but like getting closer to me and like trying to put it on me okay and I'm like boy step back I'm just trying to keep conversation going so he wouldn't be doing the most on me and I'm like uncomfortable to like the fullest extent because this man started telling me he got like two sets of twins most wanted in the south he like 37 and at the time I was like 21 and I'm like oh my god like oh my god yeah and he just starts throwing out little stuff about Steph and it was weird because like she would be sleep drunk like I'm, I'm doing this because it's like you wasn't that drunk, bro. Like, you wasn't that drunk. Because a song would come on and she will mm, mm, And I'm like, bitch, you don't hear what's going on right here if you're doing all of that. So she's telling me like, oh, lay down, lay down. And I keep trying to like, I'm laying on her and like talking to him, right? So I keep like just turning around like, are you okay? Like, you need some water? She's like, I'm good, I'm good. I'm like, okay, like. Tell me when you want to go home. And he was like, oh, y'all leaving? I'm like, yeah, like, we're going to go. Um, I'm going to tell Mia to come get us. And he's like, wow, that's so crazy. Like, um, she made it seem a different type of way. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he was like, nah, it's not even like that. I thought it was just something different. Like, she made it seem like it was something different. And I'm like, well, what, what's the difference? And he was like, you think this is all just a coincidence? Like, where did Mia go? And I'm like... Where did she go? He was like, why isn't Mia back yet? And I was like, in my head, like, you right. And then I'm like, oh, like, she's just with her boyfriend, you know, like, mm -hmm. and he's like, oh, you got a boyfriend? I was like, no, but I talked to somebody and I'm sitting here like all in my phone talking to the man's from Tinder. I'm like, yeah, but I talked to somebody. And he was like, oh, okay, but like, I could take care of you. I could do what he not doing. I'm a man. Da -da -da. 
leave me alone. I had on this shirt, it was like a, a halter type kind of, so like my back tattoo was out and he kept just trying to like, come here, like he was sitting on the edge of the bed, kept trying to like sit me on his lap and like, oh, your tattoo's so nice, you got more tattoos, let me see. And I'm like, yeah, but like they in places you can't see. And he was like, well, let me see him, like, like come here, take your pants off. But I'm like, boy, no, but he was like pulling on me to the point where I'm like, nigga, like get off me, bro. I was like, get off me, bro, you know? But I was scared. <laughs> I wasn't doing all that. I was really scared. I was fighting for my life. Scared, y'all. Like, it was very uncomfortable. And he just kept trying to kiss me in my mouth. So I forgot what he said, but it threw me completely off. But basically, it was like Steph knew the deal. Like, Steph knew what it was when y'all all came here. I was more into you and your friend not here. Something like that. But basically, he was telling me, like, obviously, they had a talk. And she basically, what he said was, it was like a, which one you like? Like, which one is better? Because he was telling me, like, he thought it was gonna be like me, him, and Steph doing aerobics in the bed. What? First of all, she like one of my best friends. Second of all, I don't like girls. I'm not gonna do that. Third of all, I don't like you. Fourth of all, I don't know you. Fifth of all, y'all got me up in this room like, what? And he was like, yeah, like, so he was basically, basically telling me like them two had a conversation before we all hung out. He seen who I was and he basically chose me over Mia. And that's how it was. Like, so, so from jump, it was like a setup mission. Her make some, basically she was trying to pick me up. Like, that's what it was. She was trying to pick me out. She was gonna make money off of the whole, like, exchange of me in the night and everybody doing aerobics. And I was fucking confused. <laughs> so, when I heard this, I'm like, yeah, I gotta go. It's time for me to go. I'm like, I have no idea. I am not down. I'm not with it. I don't wanna do it. Like, no. So, I'm telling her, like, come on, get up. Like, I texted me and me about to be here in 2.2 seconds. Like, you need to get up. And she not trying to get up. This nigga over here mad, and he like, Steph, you need to get up. Get up, because your friend not with it. Get up, and I'm like, oh. so then she want to act dead sleep. Like, girl, you hear this man talking to you, you see what you created, like, get up. I could not, for the life of me, carry her, because cause upper body strength is on zero. Then you expect me to carry your big ass all the way downstairs to the car. We're all drunk. No. So I'm like, girl, get up. Before I get further into the story, she made it seem like her and this dude was like this. From the state that they was in, they always hung out, they always fucked with each other. Stuff like that was her really good friend type shit, right? That's how she played it off to us. Like she just knew all about this man's life, right? He's telling me this. I'm in my, this is my first time meeting him. I don't know how many times y'all hung out, how often y'all talk, but you made it seem like he was such a good friend. So you already, offered to stay the night here like you was comfortable sleeping here i wasn't i was gonna do that from jump he thought that was the plan they made it a plan i wasn't gonna be in part of the plan because i would have called my nana real fast to come pick me up if mia wasn't gonna get there in 2.2 seconds right so i'm trying to tell her like wake up get up i'm texting mia like bro come get me like i need to get like you what i just heard and what i'm about to tell you is either we gonna jump this bitch or you gonna come jump this nigga like come on and so mia texts me like oh i'm downstairs come on i'm trying to wake up steph like bro mia here if you're not getting up right now like i'm leaving i'm already so uncomfortable damn near this man was just trying to get all up in me like no like i'm so uncomfortable i'm ready to go i've never been in, in this t type of situation then he telling me the whole plan y'all conspired three hours earlier like i want to leave bro like i want to go like i knew it couldn't have been this good like <laughs> Too good to be true. So I'm telling her like, bro, come on. She's like dead, like trying to act dead. At this point, I'm like leaning like this. Get up, bro, like get up. He over here trying to touch all over me still. So I say, yeah, I'm done. Like I'm leaving. I said, all right, well, um, tell her I'm gonna call her in the morning. I left. And am I a good friend for that? Y'all let me know in the comments. But I left because she made it seem like this man was one of her best friends. Like she knew all about this nigga life. She was hyping him up, made him seem like the best man in the world. Like, I don't know. She just made it seem like she knew him and he was cool and he was one of like the bros, you know? So if I'm hyping it up to you, like this man is like 
one of my good homies. I trust him. Oh, he gonna do this, this, and that for us. I talk to him every day. I chill with him more than once. Like, da da da. I'm sitting here drunk. Y'all wouldn't leave me too? I wasn't thinking like, oh, I don't want to leave her with this random ass man because she didn't make it seem like he was a random ass man. So I'm like, bye. I was out of there. Like Mia said, I'm here and I was downstairs before she pushed Sid, okay? I go downstairs. I'm telling Mia and her boyfriend, I'm telling her like they whole master plan. Mia's boyfriend was like, she got a job fucked up. And I'm like, yes! Nigga, like she just really tried to set that whole little three-way thing up upstairs. Like I was so confused. <laughs> like I was so confused. We wake up the next morning. I text Steph like, oh, you good? And she's like, yeah, like we're out getting breakfast, blah, blah, blah. We might go shopping. You should have stayed um, because he's saying that he might take me shopping. And I'm like, good for you. But like, no thank you because when you get here, you're going to have a lot to hear from me, shorty. I'm like, okay, just let me know when you're on your way. Like, da, da, da. She's like, all right, I'll be there soon. Like, we're eating. And I'm like, all right, cool. She come back to the house. She come in the room with me and Mia. And we're like, bro, what was that about? And she's like, why would you just leave me? Like, what type of friend are you? I don't even know this nigga. Like, I woke up and he was trying to feel all over me. Like, we damn near, they they pretty much was like, you know? She was like, I just woke up and he was like inside of me. And I'm like, you woke up and he was inside of you. No, I don't think so. I'm like, mm -hmm. she was like, oh, it was just so uncomfortable. And I'm sitting here thinking like, if it was so uncomfortable, why you wanna let this man take you shopping? Why you wanna eat breakfast with him? You would've just called me like, bro, come get me. Cause I would've got up and went. But I decided to leave because you made it seem like this was one of your homies. Me and my homies, my homies know they like, the bros, them is my brothers. If I'm drunk, we can sleep in the same bed and not do nothing because I've done it before. Like I was so drunk. Homie was like, go get in the bed, bro. I wake up drunk throwing up, he's right next to me. Wake up in the morning, ain't nothing happened. He did not touch me, we, he stayed on that side, I stayed on this side, like, you know, y'all get what I'm saying? I don't know about, about her and her friends, but my homies, they, they know they like my brothers. Oh, we don't do none of that. None of that. So she was like, yeah, I woke up and he was like inside of me and like it was just so uncomfortable. She don't talk like that, but that's that's what I was getting. Like, you know like when people just talk and you just like irritated so they just like, oh my God, like, bitch, shut up. And I was just really mad because like, she made it seem like I was just such a horrible friend for leaving her super drunk with this random man and he started all touching and feeling all up on her and getting up in her. So it's my fault that all this happened. And I'm sitting here like, well ain't that something because this told me plan A, B, and C. So what it is, shorty? Like, what, 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 what were you trying to do? What were you trying to do? And y'all wanna know what she said? Nothing, cause she didn't have nothing to say. Oh, she's like, what? Why would he say that? You think I would really do that? Like, why would I even want to do that with you? Like, you're like my sister. And I'm like, because he has a McLaren. Because he got all this, this and that type of money. Cause he would've took you shopping. Very much so 304 vibes. Like, and I guess that's what he thought we were. And I was like, ha! No, never again. Never ever again would I go out with you somewhere to go meet up this man who supposedly you one of your bros and like I guess he a random. They oh, oh and then another thing, she was telling me they had only like linked once or twice in the state that they from and I'm like, you could have fooled me. You could have fooled me because how you made this man seem like he was just the best of the bros. Like he was number one. That's that's the story. <laughs> That's the story of I basically got set up by my best friend. She was trying to have a three-way with me and I guess this man who was just going to spin the bag on us. I was just thrown into a position that was like, I was ready to fight everybody. Like, like for real, like the next morning when I woke up and like me and Mia talked about it more in depth, like I was ready to fight everybody. Like at that point, everybody really had me fight because like, you're not going to pit me out. Like I would never, ever, ever have a pimp if I wanted to do that I would be my own pimp you know anyways if it wasn't for my little tender mans I probably would have went to sleep and you don't know what would have happened I was just staying awake and coherent because of that man but yeah I'll give y'all the story of time about the little tender man because that's a whole different that one was just crazy like it was crazy 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 but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this story if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you made it this far you're not yet subscribed Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. They are down below. And on that note,
Bye.